Hey guys, it's Drake, and I'm back again with another one of these unscripted ramble rants. I do want to give a big thank you to DC Comics for letting me in on their beta for their new streaming service, DC Universe. It's that that we're going to be focusing on in this video, and you know, I got to make it up front. Get all that, that FCC, this isn't a sponsored video, but they did give me access. I'm gonna be the first one to admit that I was really skeptical about this thing when it was first announced, since originally I heard it was just going to be the movies and shows with some new originals. I definitely love the movies, and I love so many of the shows, live action and animated, and the originals did seem neat and all. Like, yes, we're gonna get another Teen Titans season, we're gonna get another season of Young Justice, there's some new stuff with Titans and Harley Quinn, Swamp Thing, that's all great, but I didn't think that was gonna be enough to justify adding yet another subscription service to my monthly fees. It gets expensive after a while to get this, that, and everything else. However, when DC decided to add a library of comics to the app, that definitely sold me. It was a game changer. So no longer is it going to be just yet another streaming service for shows and movies, but we're also bringing in a completely separate medium and it's competing in a different type of service entirely. It's a little bit of an interesting move for DC because they're competing with two completely different markets by tying it all together in one app, which is honestly kind of cool at the same time. Let me talk about the comics first. So when I read digital comics, I love having that panel by panel guided view and thankfully DC Universe has it. My phone isn't tiny, but it's not gigantic either. So being able to go in panel by panel really makes it easy for me to read comics on the go. I used to be very much a physical only kind of person. I only liked reading trade paperbacks and single issues, but I've been moving a lot and I wasn't able to take my comic collection with me everywhere. So I really have been transitioning more and more towards digital. This is gonna be great. So I also don't need to keep all my old books, which some of the collectors might get a little antsy, but I don't really care about them as nearly as much as they do. I keep my issues for my set, but that's about it. Now with the DC Universe app, I actually have access to a lot of the books that I love that I want to read. That being said, a lot of older books are pretty hard to find in general out in the wild. And while the selection of books isn't exactly current and doesn't have exactly everything, at least in this beta, the app does feature plenty of classic and modern books. All of the media on here can be downloaded for offline viewing, which is perfect for flights and trips and whenever you just won't be near Wi-Fi for a while. I've actually found myself using this feature a lot by downloading uh, different comic books and different TV shows so I can kind of watch them on the go. It's honestly been pretty great whenever I'm on the train. So I'll definitely admit that I might be a little bit biased since I do make videos about comics for a living and I'm constantly needing to be hooked into the world of comics pretty much 24 seven. There's definitely the value on my end, but I really don't know if everybody else is going to get the same value out of it as me since they might not be a crazy DC fanatic. However, I really do think that by going through the app, it might be possible for some people to turn into absolute DC junkies. Some of these shows are definitely my childhood and I remember growing up on them and loving them even though I didn't read comics. But also there's an encyclopedia feature that hasn't really been active in the beta, but I think it's supposed to give a little bit more information, kind of like a Wikipedia. And there's also a curated list of recommended reading that I think is really going to help. By having all of this stuff in one easy place, it kind of takes out the difficulty of figuring out where to go and hopefully that alleviate some of the pain that I've been talking about in my videos about newcomers not really knowing where to start. I definitely want to stress that in this beta, the app doesn't have everything right away, but every single day when I went back, they were adding a bunch of new stuff to every category. If they keep it up at this rate, then I think they might actually have everything on the app by the time that it launches. At least, I hope so. Hopefully, they'll at least have a large chunk of things and they'll continue to add and update as they go on. I really do like the app and I seriously do think they can help revolutionize the comic book industry. I really do think that media in general is moving more and more towards a binge watching model, but access to comics has been a little bit of a hassle and does add up really fast when you're buying everything. I really see that this could be a good bang for your buck. I mean, honestly, if you look at other competing services, then just with one month's worth of subscriptions, you can get access to so much stuff that you never have to turn off the TV. DC really has made a lot of stuff over the years, and just by looking through this, I think you're probably going to be stuck in a bit of a vortex. There is always so much more to read and to watch, and even though I did grow up with a lot of this stuff, some shows actually did fall through the cracks, like the Superman animated series, which admittedly isn't on the app right now, but come on, it'd be weird if they didn't add it. Now, one suggestion that I wanna give that I really hope that the DC guys are listening to in this video is that 
they really should include these shows and comics for their other imprints related to DC, like Vertigo and Mad Magazine. Include those as well. Having the iZombie show and the Neil Gaiman Sandman trade paperbacks would be absolutely amazing. I love the world of DC, all of the Justice League and all the super people are cool and all, but stuff like Young Animal and Vertigo and Mad Magazine, those are some things that I really feel would appeal to a lot of people that they're currently not getting that itch scratched with what's being provided right now. By making this really one giant hub for DC's print and video works for stuff in their universes, ooh. Ooh, that would be a game changer. So there's one last thing I want to talk about before I let you guys go, and I know it might sound like I'm selling this product or that this is a sponsored video, but I legally can't do this without saying that it is, but just take a look at the price on this. The monthly rate is $7.99 a month. That is cheaper than some of the other competing services. I think that having that low price point might be enough to entice some people to come in on this, and it definitely has a good value prospect. If they keep this price and don't escalate it, and honestly, if they even made it cheaper, then I really do see a lot of people signing up and this definitely turning into more of a juggernaut and something that the entire comic industry might want to look more into of possibly even turning this app into, I guess, like the new status quo of comics. But definitely hyperbole a little bit right now and definitely that's probably a lot of stock to put in this especially when I haven't even seen the finished product. So far, I really have been enjoying the app, and admittedly, I think a big part of that is because I've been having free access to it, but I really do think I'm going to sign up for this once it comes out, frankly, mostly because it'll help my job, but yeah. We'll see. If DC continues to add more shows, more movies, more comics, and have as few things not available on there as possible, then I don't see why any real big comic fan who loves DC stuff wouldn't just want to get on board with it. So anyway, thank you very much DC for letting me get on on this beta. Hopefully you take some of my criticisms to heart, and hopefully you really roll with the things I said were good. I think those are great. Do more of that. I'm looking forward to the service, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.